Brett Saren with Realty Executives, and we're in Mesa, Arizona today at one of my favorite charities, Feed My Starving Children. Now, what does that mean? Why are we here? Well, the vast majority of people want their realtors, want the people that they do business with to be involved in some sort of cause bigger than themselves. And I can't think of a bigger one than Feed My Starving Children. So why don't we go inside, meet my friend Clint Palmer, and we're gonna talk all about it. So I'm here with my friend Clint Palmer at Feed My Starving Children and we're going to talk about why this is so important and the difference that this organization makes and why I'm so happy to be working alongside them to accomplish their mission. So tell us a little bit about Feed My Starving Children and why the work is so important. So Feed My Starving Children is a Christian nonprofit who prepares nutritionally complete meals for starving and malnourished children in over 70 countries. From there, we actually ship it out to humanitarian partners that work in locations uh, like schools, orphanages, and even feeding clinics. Right. Um, in some of the most difficult places on the planet to get the food into. In the United States, we don't really understand this necessarily, but worldwide lack of proper nutrition is still the number one cause of child mortality around the world, is that right. correct? It's a scary statistic, but one child dies every 14 seconds. So who gets involved with this? I mean, um, you know, we've got all of this food and we'll talk about it in just a second, but how does it go from these bags to meals in countries? <laughs> That's the cool part. We get raw ingredients in, right. and we have over 1.3 million volunteers who participate with us across the country. Right. They come in, uh, they're the heart and soul of everything that wow. we do. They come in, they pack those ingredients into the bags, they put those into the boxes, mm. they sit them on the pallets, and then those pallets get put into a container and they head off to right. the country. Now, is it adult volunteers? Uh, talk to me about who you see coming in to, to help people around the world. Uh, you know what, it's anybody from age five and up. Wow. And I don't put a cap on that up part because <laughs> if you can get here, we will find something. There's a job do. for you. Yes. Right. So we get 216 meals in one box. And how many boxes per pallet? 36 boxes per pallet. Okay. And how many pallets will go on a shipment to get to a country? We'll put 35 pallets, so a little over 272,000 meals in one steel container to ship out to a partner. Over 91% of wow. our total donations go back into the feeding program. That's amazing. So over nine out of $10 donated will go towards your mission. That, that's so efficient, I can't believe it. So when people come to volunteer and get involved, what's all the different ways that they can do that and actually help pack these meals for people? So, tons. Coming to one of our sites here, we've got eight sites around the nation. Okay. Um, those are physical locations just like this. You right. come in, we have shifts, you pack. Wow. We also do mobile packs. So our mobile packs, we do about 350 of them a year. We take everything that we do here in the room behind us. Okay. We take it all with and we do that on the road. That might be your church, that might be the convention center, that might be your school. You ready for this, Brent? I think I'm ready. All right, so we're gonna put on these hairnets. Okay. You get a hairnet, I get a headnet. Oh, you get a headnet? I get a headnet, <laughs> all right? We're gonna get these on and we'll get our hands washed up. All right. We'll get busy. <laughs> 